Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a cleansing detoxing class that is gonna revolve around two things. Hero pose, prepping for hero pose, which is very also detoxing and it aids in detox. And we are gonna use Apana Mudra, which also is said to be a very cleansing detoxing mudra, mudra that stimulates detox because it carries energy outward and downward so we can detox on a mental level if we feel that there is an emotion that we can focus on and allow it to drain out we can use this class or we can use it during menstruation uh, when we need physical detox that is a good class to come to so are you ready to flow with strength and ease Starting at the front of the mat, standing tall, and we're going to bring the middle and the ring finger to the thumb, touch them and straighten the other fingers. And the middle finger is space ether, so it directs energy out of the body, and the ring finger is earth, so it directs energy down. And you can also use foods that direct energy the same way, outward, downward. There is graphs online you can look up which food moves energy in what direction. I've always loved and used those graphs depending on what I need. Sometimes you need to bring it up. Bringing it out is usually sweating, detoxing through the skin. Down is of course physical detox and also getting grounded when you're dealing with emotions that could be clean such as anger and frustration so hold your mudra apana mudra which is a cleansing mudra and begin to work with your breath with mudras we're activating the subtle energies in the body because the fingers are all connected to the energies to the meridians and we are activating the mudras not just by holding them but also by focusing on the breath so working with the breath along with the mudra this is also an immunity building mudra bring your awareness to your feet spread the uh, the toes wide open and you can shift side to side just feel the legs connecting with the earth feel the feet connecting feel the widening of the hips pelvis lift mulabandha lifting and connecting the lower belly muscles neutral curvature in the spine so sometimes we scoop up the lower belly and we lift here, which brings the spine into a neutral position. If you already have um, a flattening of the lower back, then you are going to flex your glutes, focus on building stronger glutes and Mula Bandha. So work with your body. Chin parallel to the floor and feel the lift through the crown of the head. Whenever we ground, we always want to lift as well. So we're working with the opposing directions. Take a big step out along the long side of the mat. Open the arms out. Spread the toes wide open and we're going to shift side to side. Just a very gentle bending here. This is a warm up. Let's direct the toes slightly out and we're gonna do a side lunge. Side lunge, you don't need to go deep, we're just starting to move. 
bringing movement into the body. You can bring the obliques here in, in the shoulders, moving side to side, a little fluidity, warming up the torso. As always with the mudras, feel free later in the day to just hold it for longer, even in bed when you lay down. And bring your neck in here, stretch it side to side, side to side, elongating, stretching. Let's open the toes even more out. Take a mellow plie here and we're going to reach side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach over the head at about 45 degrees angle and spin side to side. Just a very gentle spinning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, side bend to side bend, side bend to side bend, find length here, so really lengthen, 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 great, Posing, working with your exhalation, smile. And shifting side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straighten the legs, step at the front. Nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. Chair pose. Release your mudra. Come into a standing and grab your right ankle. Direct the knee down. Extend the tailbone slightly down and feel the quadriceps releasing, stretching here. Let's take the left hand up. You can use your mudra, optional. Take a big step back into high lunge again. Feel that stretch here, directing. The tailbone down without over stretching, just feel the stretch, mellow. Lower the knee down. And look up. You can reach up. Exhale the hands on the inside of the left foot. Take your knee up and hold here. Right hand on the floor. Take the left hand up. Reach up. Twisting. And step it at the front. Yogic squat. Grab your big toes with your yogic hold, three fingers, and we're going to straighten the, bo the body or straighten the legs, lift the body and bend. So a little exercise here for the knees, mobility, a mobility drill. Great, straighten, straighten the back, 
neutral curvature and come up to standing. Let's go over to the other side. You can do your mudra with the right hand, holding here for a few breaths. Take your time, direct the knee down. Try to level the hips, the pelvis, so you're not all tilted here. Belly in. Now, if this is very uncomfortable to hold, you can go grab a strap. Feel the energy moving into the hip flexor area. Release and take a big step back into high lunge. Again, feeling that stretch. Lower the knee down and keep your right knee over the ankle. Here you can reach back or just grab the waist, press the elbows back and open the chest. Exhale, both hands on the inside of the right foot. Lift the left knee of the floor. Squeeze your right knee into the shoulder. Press the back heel away from you. And let's take the right arm up, twist. and step it at the front into yogic squat. Rise up, straighten the feet, hands over the heart. Big breath in through the heart, open the chest. This is a reminder to bring yourself into the central axis of the body, feel the balance, feel the alignment, breathe into the hips, the heart. Shift your weight onto the left leg. Take the right ankle. You can deepen it here by extending the tailbone down. You can open. And again, extend the tailbone here, keeping the hip square. Release and step it back, high lunge. Now we're gonna lower the knees. One, two, three, four, five. Reach back, lower the knee, reach further back, stretching and opening. Release the right hand on the floor. Bend the back knee and see if you can grab it with your hand again. Whenever you need to use a strap, if you can use your hands, prefer your hands. Don't go very deep with the stretches. We're just gently moving through the stretches. Great. Release, step back on the foot, take a twist, left arm reaches up. And here we're gonna drop onto the outer edges of both feet, flex the feet and open the chest up. Reach ahead of you. Exhale, both hands down, yogic squat. 
which also opens the hips, aligns the lower back. Spread your toes open, press into your heels and give me a strong squat up. Good. Coming back to the front, hands over the heart, coming back to your central axis, tuning in, shifting onto the right foot and let's grab the ankle and deepen it a little here. I just stay here a little longer. We're moving to dancers, but try to square the hips so that you're effectively stretching the quadriceps and hip flexor. Oftentimes we open too much here. So for demonstration, open too much. It's a different pose. Opening here, so try to square and lift extending the tailbone aligning it with the spine release and step it back high lunge and lower down one two three four five reach back lower the knee you can reach further back here you should start to feel juicy and good even if it's your <laughs> Challenging pose. All right, left hand on the floor, bend the back knee, grab it and open here. You can widen your stance. Open the chest, drop the shoulders away, smile. Release, lift, twist. Now drop onto the outer edges of the feet and open the chest up. Surrender. Surrender to the different actions that are happening in the body. You can reach your head. And both hands down. Yogi squat. This is another great pose for eating in detox, especially menstruation or childbirth. Anything that's directing the energy down. But as I said in the beginning, this class is good for any form of detox, whether it is emotional or physical, cleansing the body, cleansing the physical body. Great, hands on the floor, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog, hold it, that's another hip flexor stretch here. So press your toes firmly down, extend the tailbone, open down dog and we're going to shift the hips up into the body up into tabletop press into your heels and balls of the feet out in the edges of the feet, align your wrists, hands wide on the ground, press your tailbone, hips up and feel the stretch through the front of the hip. And we're going to take the right leg forward, thread it underneath the left knee, shift, 
shift back, one legged down dog, drop it behind and press here. So this is a one armed or one handed table top. Try to move with one smooth move. So again, we're gonna reverse this move. Take that right leg around and step it back in tabletop. Extend the right leg, thread it under. One legged down dog, drop the leg behind and you can take tabletop here. Reverse it. And lift. Let's go over to the other side. Left leg, thread it under. Lift and reach. Drop it behind. Tabletop, reverse it. and lift and again lift drop it lift it feel the fluidity in your body when you're moving with fluid move such as this one it's from the shape shifters class and Let's reverse it. Coming into the original tabletop. Lift, 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 lift. And let's take down dock to plank. Lower down onto your belly. Squeeze your elbows into your rib cage. Lift the legs off the floor and Lengthen them away from you. Lengthen the back of the neck and come up. Lift. Reach back, maybe grab your ankles. Lift. Release. Child's pose. Coming out of Balasana and we're going to come up onto the knees. If you're really, really tight here and you can't sit on the ground, sit on a block, sit on a blanket, bring it underneath between your feet and underneath your body and just sit here. Otherwise, if you can sit on the ground, sit on the ground. If you can sit on the ground, Make sure to press the top of your feet down into the floor. I like to keep my knees hip width apart. That is the more natural alignment here. Aligning the knees with the hips. Try not to open them. That's the most common compensation mistake when you feel tightness. You tend to open and lift them off the floor. So try not to do that. Try rather sit on an elevated either a small ball, a block, a blanket, rolled up blanket. And if you are ready to go a little deeper, now if you're sitting on a block, you can still lean back and lean onto your elbows or onto your hands, such as this. If you're sitting on the floor, you know the drill. You just will lower first onto your elbows. Try to direct your knees down and the tailbone is extended slightly so that we're really stretching here. Breathe. You can lower down further. Coming back up. And 
And on to all fours. Inhale, look up, I exhale. Round the back, inhale, look up. I exhale, rounding. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Coming up to neutral. Take the right leg up, left arm, left hand to right ankle. Lift and open here. And switch. Soften the shoulder. Let's bring the left knee forward pigeon opening here and lifting this is a really really good place to stretch the hip flexor if you need that if you feel that this is key into balancing your posture Here I'm going to choose to stay up because we are doing a hero sequence. So this is really stretching the hip flexor when I'm not lowering down. And look side to side. You can look up and this is a good opportunity to Work on the neck muscles, which can help your neckline stay firm. So kiss the sky or kiss the ceiling, forming a little O shape with your lips and just reaching as far up as you can. You feel a really good, really needed stretch through the neck. Why just stay in pigeon when we can do a few things extra for our face and neck? Are you ready to change sides? Let's press it back. You can do a few knee circles. Set yourself up for the opposite side. Flex the foot, level the hips open kiss the sky look over one shoulder over to the other side can bring your back leg back and around for either sukhasana easy pose half lotus or full lotus which aids again into the opening of the hips apana mudra Sit here with your mind peaceful, focusing on the exhalation and even directing your exhalation out of the body into the earth using visualization, intention.
slowly releasing either lotus or sukhasana hands to the front tuck your toes under down dog step your right foot between the hands drop the back heel down warrior two Reverse it, straighten the lead knee, reach back and reach ahead of you, triangle pose. Reaching way ahead of us. Plank, Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, take the left leg between the hands, warrior two, reverse it, straighten the lead knee, reach further back, coming out, triangle, Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Down Dog, take the right foot between the hands, Warrior One, here work with your hips, bring in the right hip, the femur back into the hip socket, and internally rotating the left hip so it comes forward it squares your hips with the front of the mat so they're exactly aligning and also level your hips if you tend to keep one hip here higher it does happen more often than you think level them square them feel that alignment allowing the small muscles to begin to work in this pose. Hold it. Directing the back heel down towards the floor, even if it's in the air, you feel the energy directed down. Great, exhale down plank to Chaturanga, to up dog, to down dog, step the left foot through and come up. Warrior one, and again, feel the subtleties of the pose, of the hip alignment, of the pelvic alignment, tailbone, hip flexor, feet. Feet is the foundation here. So we really want to build from the feet up. Feel the femur pressing back, the right hip rotating internally. You can keep a light, slight bend in the right knee. Smile, soften the face muscles, soften the jaw, soften the gaze. So if you get too serious with yoga, remember it's just yoga. Sometimes we do light class, giggly class, joyful class. Sometimes we're just empty. There isn't anything too serious about it, but we can, we can be just quiet and empty. And here, try to flex the butt, the gum, the glutes, 
and see how that releases the hip flexor. It's one of the best ways to stretch the hip flexor is by flexing the glutes or the posing muscle. Straighten the lead knee and face the long side of your mat. Sit in plie and hold it. Let's look over the left shoulder, level the chin, opposite side. One more time. Back to center, lower the right ear over the right shoulder, lengthen both sides of the neck, opposite side. Back to center. Straighten, step at the front, bring your hands on the lower back, walk your elbows in and you can step your feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward, extend the tailbone down and lift the heart up. Coming up slowly and you can come down into a yogic squat. I'm going to lay along this side of the mat so I'm turning my back to you and here you're going to release the hands behind you and walk yourself down onto the mat. Lower down, reach over the head and stretch. So you're gonna point your toes and stretch and reach over the head actively. So there is a lot of intention here. The body is very active from the tip of the toe into the tip of the fingertips. Stretch, 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 that can make you taller. This pose is also the best pose to do for coming out of bed in the morning. It awakens your digestive system and it can aid in detox, elimination, digestion, assimilation. Release the stretch, reach with your hands forward, chest open, peel your upper back off the floor, bring your left knee in, extend one, two, three, four, five, change, one, two, three, four, five, feet on the ground, bridge pose, straighten the legs or straighten the feet, so the feet are parallel to each other, hip width apart, you can lift your toes, press your elbows down and lift here hips lifting, bridge pose, you can clasp under, shimmy the shoulders, bring your chest to your chin and feel the energy into your hips, hip flexors here, finishing pose for this sequence. Lift, 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 lift <laughs> and Release soles of the feet together. Reclining butterfly pose. And let's roll onto our side and come up to sit it. Roll the shoulders back and down. And feel free to stay a few more minutes in a Panamudra. 
you can stay here actually for as long as you need to all the way up to 45 minutes 30 35 40 45 minutes if you really want to release an emotion or aiding physical detoxification and just ease your body so feel free to stay a little longer here and i'll see you next week with our class meanwhile we are starting the fame series on the website so we're gonna have a new class every single day for the month of june and it is going to be based around famous archetypes in society so it's gonna be incredible i love archetypes and working with uh, the subconscious influence they have on us so we're gonna explore archetypes 15 minutes a day each and every day a new class so i invite you to join me on my membership for the fame series it will be a lot of fun and i'll be here every wednesday so remember to flow with strength and ease namaste